Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Accesi suprememastertv.com barra schedule. Hamare karkam pesh kye jate kai bhaasha me krupya deke suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Woman de jemu ti kong to jung yu yen, chin kan suprememastertv.com xie xian schedule. Ranjangan kami menawakan banyak bahasa. Sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com slash kataban schedule. Paramiju nama tu ofira bil adidi mena logat yurja ziyarat suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nasha programme pir tlakait monoka ya zikop. Pajalus tapas matviti suprememastertv.com kasai chertet schedule. Choi bang sungun tayangan onori chegung amnita. 다음을 참고하세요. supremmastertv.com/schedule. So do not stop me because I do this also for you, for all of you. When I became Buddha, I will liberate you first, enlighten you first. This is a very great merit. It's a very great cause. So do not try to deter me. Yeah. After that, everyone keep quiet and don't say anything anymore, because they know he's determined to offer himself. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, or Lassis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Fun 福尔摩沙高南普天气 so 
，不论是宗教、建筑，也是语言，台湾样样齐全。有福气的观众，同欢喜能够为你简单介绍国乡的台湾福尔摩沙，引导其多年，无论做乜嘢，都感受到佛陀的爱。青海无双石，三十多年来，用神圣教理照亮世界。两位顽强开悟的名师，传授感应法门，帮助渴望的求道者，即刻开悟一世解脱。所有开悟名师都修感应法门，出唱佛陀。控制，古鲁那那克，亚苏基督，罗子，朱奎斯那，摩诃毗罗，贤弟，穆罕穆德，祝吉平安，还有东多，吉强跳，恩尼之友，时时相念相替，为他人无私奉献，遵循依旧立法，将他多面对最高高位。了悟来到地球的目的，前海无双时，慈悲为怀，是非凡的彩丝典范。今上远祖难免，皆有在面，老需要帮助的人，本其福子，老谨记念珠，用爱心抚慰祈祷。前海无双时表示。层层感谢，挚爱的上天，多年来的恩师，本其能力，历尽面破，为苦难同胞提供物质方面的帮助、抚慰，并支持祈祷，高能力行慈善，将上天的爱、老慈悲传达本其挚爱的子儿。情海无双时。得到各组织团体、政府、媒体、老各界人士的支持、老爱戴，并得到几多办法，同到奖项，出枪两千空六年，不是扶贫奖，也将等同东方的诺贝尔扶贫奖，一九九四年的世界精神领袖奖，两千空八年。摩诃毗罗奖，一月二十一日，老生日二十五日，都本天为前海日，二国容易共鸣等等，而作业的人土山客，多年来复办无数奖项，获得四年无数赞誉。
，人力偏薄，老时间有限，像素爱德无法列出，其他动图状况老重要。智力未通过发生嘅侵害物丧失，提倡扶贫爱心嘅出不养色。以下那许下肥年，希望人类相互终身改善生，替做和平地方的纯属世界，通过老人类共存共荣，以用各种方式创造纯属世界，促进广泛传达。姨妈做的现在，安阳的世界，开始爱家。为之纯素传统、纯素食品公司、纯素皮草产品，老湖商石天师台，其他经常服药，政府老媒体量收，并参加气候变迁咨询会议。无论私人系唔系建国，以努力影响私人自己，分享人民。现在，三胎通过的失败，并奉行此地之土，天下长呢，永久太平，救地求免疫，气候变迁不天灾。青海无双时，多年来作家遍布全球，从美国到非洲，欧洲到太阳族，对太中老几个土地，光景开始数百场。介绍各种人性主题。今日《安妮游戏》为你播出其中一场精辟的开始，主题是《师徒之间》节目。佛教故事，行山老师五戒之功德，老翻天抢法，十世之七，用英文开始以用乾坤十五年，八月出生。念看淡薄，渐过烟花，渐团圆的爱多满满。And then there's another one here. There's another shock. And the teacher, you know, the Brahman said, if you nail ten thousand nails on your body, then I will teach you. And the king said, "Oh yes, yes, sir. I will do that. I will obey your command. But please give me seven days. <laughs> you have magical power. You know things in advance. Yeah, clairvoyance. Okay, good, good. At least you have good memory. <laughs> okay. After that, then I will." Because I want to report to all my citizens, so that they can come and also benefit from your teaching, yeah, and also to say goodbye. Because after ten thousand nails on your body, I don't think you will leave, no. Maybe you can try and tell me. <laughs> How do you know if you didn't try? Yeah, but in、uh, India, many yogis they they tried it. They practice、uh, ascetism, you know. They lay on the nail bed to sleep. Oh, at least for a while, you know, really nail, pointed nail, sharp. They lay on it. The one that they they cut to the skin too. Yeah, yeah. Some they just do all kind of things in order to to gain wisdom, hmm, to gain higher level of enlightenment. All they have to do is just come to the Supreme Master Ching Hai, <laughs> like you, right? I don't know. I don't know how 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 you get this enlightenment. Did you secretly <laughs> nail your body at home, <laughs> pray for it, or vow? Probably we do other things. Yeah, do other things. Do thing. no. What did you do, baby? <laughs> I mean, big baby. It's long story. Long story? Maybe one day you tell us, huh? <laughs> yes. I write a book. <laughs> She said, "Write a book." <laughs> okay. When we have a better place, or you know, I stay longer, then maybe you can come and go, and then you have more time, and then you can tell.、Mm-hmm. Okay. 
right now I don't know how long he stay this weekend. Maybe you're going home soon, so I just try to remind you thing first, okay? From the Buddha. All right. Okay. And after seven days, everybody heard about that, and they all come to the capital city. And then many of the representative, probably lower representative of the parliament people, come and request the king, you know, la, 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 like before, you know, uh, we represent the whole citizens of this country, come here to congratulate you and wish you a long life, 10,000 years, etc. Because we know that due to your merit, that our country are blessed with peace and prosperity. So please, do not leave us. Forsake the nailing stuff. <laughs> nailing stuff. <laughs> so that we have someone to rely on, to depend on. You are like father to us, etc., etc., you know, or similar. And then uh, the 20,000 wives and concubines come after to say the same thing like before, okay? I don't have to. <laughs> Do I have to continue? <laughs> I don't have to repeat the same thing. You know everything already. <laughs> Even he knows. <laughs> okay. The Buddha sacrificed suffering and we're laughing. <laughs> We are terrible people. <laughs> we truly prevent, don't we? <laughs> we do, no? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> My disciple, they just make me laugh. <laughs> I am so sorry. Forgive us. He's a Buddha already. He don't care anyway, right? <laughs> that, that was a past life, right? Anyway, just a story, okay? And then, uh, you know, concubine, and then official court, and, uh, you know, everybody come and ask him to, 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 to abolish this uh, decision of nailing. And the king say, I have observed that life after life, so many countless lifetimes, <laughs> he's still laughing, please don't do it. <laughs> You infect me. Let me read the serious story, please. <laughs> this chocolate, she keeps laughing. She's hiding and laughing. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> you can laugh openly and finished, okay? <laughs> Just openly laugh and finish it <laughs> so I can finish the job. <laughs> because there are many more lifetimes, do you understand? <laughs> Not only one. <laughs> the Brahma king, he definitely want to remind the Buddha of what is it all about, you know? Why he want to become Buddha, you know? So he keep telling all this story as if the Buddha don't remember. <laughs> and then the king said, I observe that many lifetime, life after life, so, so countless lifetime, uh, I myself also, uh, running around in the cycle of life and death, you know, all the time, and drowning in this kind of existence. This kind of body has been lost countless time, countless time already. And then all that kind of the body has been lost, has also been running after greed and anger and ignorance and sensual pleasure only. If we can count, all the body's bones that has been rotten from life after life, then it, for myself, my body's bone would have been higher than the, uh, the Everest, the Mount Everest, for example. Yeah. He said, Tu Yi, I don't know where, where that country, where, where that mountain is. So for us, Everest is higher, so I say Everest, okay, huh? He didn't say Everest here, but okay, it's so that you understand. I'm just like the Buddha, it has to be solid. <laughs> have to have a number or a position or a location, so that you remember, huh? Okay. The head has been rolling, the blood has been flowing. It would have been, you know, gathered together, it would have been like a five, six river yeah, already. And uh, tears have been flowing 
could feel many of the... No, he has a number here. <laughs> the tears, yeah, would have been, uh, you know, more than four, f four oceans. Yeah. You know, before the blood flow more than five river, and this one more than four ocean. I told you, must have the number. Yeah. So all these uh, lives and body has been reborn and died, reborn and die. It was a waste, a waste of time, waste of body. It has not been, be, uh, has not been offered to seek the truth, to attain enlightenment. So for all this body has been such a waste. So this time, I want to nail my body to offer to the master to search Buddhahood. Okay, so at this time, I do this um, to offer my body in order to become Buddha, eh? to use this merit toward Buddhahood. Eh? So do not stop me, because I do this also for you, eh? for all of you. When I became Buddha, I will liberate you first, enlighten you first. This is a very great merit. It's a very great cause. So do not try to deter me. Yeah. After that, everyone keep quiet and don't say anything anymore, because they know he's determined to offer himself. And then the king went in front of the master and said, please, uh, can you teach us first? Because after, after I nail myself, thousand nails, then maybe I would die already without knowing the teaching. Yeah. So the master said something like this again, a quadrant. Yeah. Everything is impermanent. <laughs> you can tell the rest. <laughs> uh, being born, means having suffering, you to die, yes. Everything that appears here in the world has no ownership. So nothing you could own. Uh, everything belongs to nothing. <laughs> you also belong to nothing. And that's true, no? That's it, four stanzas. And then after that, the king was very happy, tell everybody, copy and give it to everybody, you know, <laughs> to everybody, every day have to remind themselves to recite it all the time. And then the king tell them to nail him. Mm. Every king of the smaller kingdom and all the officials, all the wives, concubines, children, they all, you know, throw themselves on the ground and crying and, you know, yelling lamenting, and the whole heaven and earth shake, shake so much, waking all the gods up again. <laughs> and they surprised, woke up, looked down, huh? And then they felt such a rare phenomena, rare sacrifice. So they were so very touched, they throw all the flowers down, and the heavenly flower too, to offer. And then the chakra god come down again. Oh, isn't this guy? Huh? Well, mind your own business, I would say. <laughs> you come down and ask. Not say, okay, I feel sorry for you, or are you pain, or anything. <sighs> you sacrifice so much, suffer so much. What do you want to be? Huh? You want to be a uh, Brahma god? You want to be the king of, uh, of the wheel? I don't know, there's a, such a thing. I don't know what the king of the wheel is was supposed to be. Or you want to be chakra god? Uh, or you want to be Maya, uh, etc.? He's worried, you know, that this king will take his kingdom, take his throne, more merit. You see what I mean? Yeah. It happened. It could happen. Jealous. I am the jealous God. That's what it is. Yeah. So the king replied, Reverend God, I forsake my own body 
just to uh, to request for the truth, you know, to enlighten truth, so that I can help all beings to be liberated, like myself. But I do not, but I do not uh, request any merit on this uh, heavens or earth merit, or to become rich or god or anything like that. And then the chakra god, he's a god of the astral, the chief god of 33 levels of astral level, of astral, you know, spiritual level. He is the chief of the 33 heavens, yeah, chief of all the gods of the 33 heavens in the astral area. He asked, but I saw you suffering not peacefully, you know, of course. <laughs> <laughs> how can? Yeah, yeah, how can? I ask. Nail yourself a thousand times on your body and have to be quietly suffer. What the heck he wants, huh? Why don't he do it himself and he know how he can suffer quietly, you know? Yeah, that reminded me of the story. That one of the Zen master, you know, in the Zen story. One of the Zen master has a disciple. He doubted that whether his master is really enlightened or has any attainment or not. So one day he waits for his Zen master sleep. He came in and pulled his leg and twisted it around. <laughs> and the master wake up and, ow, ow, ow! <laughs> you know, of course. And the, um, the disciple asked, Are you in pain, master? He said, of course I'm in pain. Then he said, if you still feel pain, then, then you're not enlightened, are you? Oh, God, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Teaching a dog is easier. Mm. <laughs> Fetch, <laughs> sit. <laughs> yeah. So the Sakra God asked him, do you feel regretful what you've done? So the king said, no, I have no regret. Uh, but you say that, only from my lips. How can you prove it to me? Oh, God. So the, the, the king has to vow again in all heaven. Like he vowed to all the Ten Direction Buddhas, say, if my heart really have no regret, then please be witness. Because I only want to seek the truth, the liberating truth. I don't want any of the godly or earthly fruit of marriage. So if it is true like that, let my body regain its normal appearance. And immediately, yes, all the nails popped out, and then his body became as normal but much brighter than before. And at that time, all the heavens and earth and humans and all beings have seen such a sincerity of his heart. They are all clapping and happy and dancing. Yeah. War honor one. The king that nailed his own body at that time is you now. Your heart as great as the ocean, as uh, wide as the sky, have destroyed many of the beings' uh, wrong concept about spiritual practice because they are just like um, drowning in mud, this quicksand, yeah, and mm, suffocating, don't know how to help themselves. Please do not leave these pitiful children of yours, your children, beautiful children, and go into nirvana. And then he continued, remember another story. I don't know how many more stories until... You, you, you want to listen more? You want to go sleep now? Tell me the truth. I don't mind, I don't mind, I don't mind, whatever. I don't know when you can come again. You know? If you don't ask me to bore holes in my body, I, I do anything else. <laughs> I do anything else, it's okay, rather. You know, compared to the Buddha sacrifice, I'm sitting here reading your story, it's nothing, okay? <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, how many? But but I don't know. You sit there. Are you comfy still? Tell me the truth. If you want to go sleep, I don't mind. Whatever. I'm here just for you. You see? 
Not for me. Tell me. So if, if, you, if you do this to please us, so it's a, an honor to please you and listen to you. Okay, good. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Have you been a diplomat or something? You know? Have you been have you been like ambassador of some country? <laughs> okay. He you know how to talk, huh? <laughs> uh, probably he's learning from all this uh, ancient talk, you know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Quaikon 请收听武松十天师团，观赏汉娜多正面给节目。祝你的生活充满无条件的爱，老年痴。Delightful viewers, thank you for joining us for today's program entitled Buddhist Stories: The Merit of Charity and Keeping the Five Precepts and Brahma as for Dharma. Part 7 of 10 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Yezidism, a rich spiritual tradition and its people. Part 2 of 2 on Words of Wisdom right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May your lives be filled with unconditional love and kindness. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.